Hey guys, it's Terry again. Today we're going to talk about Prenum slash Frenulum. Do you know where it's located? Do you know how many you have in the lab? Do you know what the purpose is of having Prenums? Well, we're going to jump right into it. Engage with me. Let's look at it. Let's find them together. Okay? All right. So here's a mouth. This is called the top jaw which is called the maxilla. This is the bottom jaw, which is called the mandible. Okay. Now, this is the labial frenum. It is right in between the midline of your two front, uh, central incisors. If you put your tongue in front of your teeth and push up like you're touching your nose, you will feel it and go side to side. So let's do that together. Do you feel that little string, rope like? Now that's your labial frenum. Let's look for the other one. The other one is literally underneath your tongue. So if you lift your tongue up, you're gonna find that rope like string as well, which is your lingual frenum. And the other one is again on the mandible, right in front of your midline, which is on the uh, central, central incisors here, below it. And you, let's do it together. You could feel that, right? Yes. So now, we, now we're here and you know what, where your freedoms are. Lovely. Now we're going to move on to the purpose of it and what it does. Hey guys, I'm going to explain functions of a freedom. Okay. And where they're located. So. Frenum or frenulum in your mouth is a small fold of tissue with an essential role that helps stabilize your lips, cheek, and tongue. That is the role of frenum. This means that your freedom keeps these mobile parts anchored in the right position, making it possible for you to chew, speak, and swallow comfortable. There are several types of oral frenums, including labial frenum, which is right on the top here, which connects your lips upper and lower to your gums. Lingual freedom, which is underneath your tongue, anchors your tongue to the floor of your mouth. Buckle freedom, which is under close to your chin, connects the inside of your cheek to your gums. Without these little bands of tissue, everyday function like eating and speaking would be much harder. In some cases, if a frenum is too tight or in the wrong place, it can cause issues like difficulty speaking, eating, or even gaps between your teeth. Dentists can fix these problems with a simple procedure called a phrenectomy needed. Okay. In a sense, in short, your frenum main purpose is to provide support um, for your cheeks and tongue, helping your mouth to function properly. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you for listening and for participating.